Spectre. The Mornings on One, weekdays 6 to 9, exclusively on Spectre. This morning, Zoo took the station from worst to first. They went from worst to first. Worst to first. The winning formula is wild and wacky. Stars including John Bon Jovi, Joan Jett, Debbie Gibson, Gavin DeGraw, and Nile Rogers are all featured in the documentary. There's even a story about a then little known artist named Madonna frequently stopping by asking Z100 to play her music before she rose to superstardom. Years later, another famous pop star took a page out of Madonna his book with us it was lady gaga and it was she was she grew up listening to us on z100 and then she's like come on plays my music elvis duran now leads z100's morning show we're part of the childhood of so many new yorkers and what a what a what an honor me as well queen's girl right here when i had the boom box hey, in my girl. pink bedroom growing up listening to you guys boom a, a boom box in a pink bedroom there I you mean, go sounds like my sounds like my childhood <laughs> Yeah, but was, he, was your boombox as good as the boombox that that guy was carrying in the video? I couldn't carry it around on the streets with me, no. The, it was strictly in the room. That, 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 was, that was the way to listen to music back in the day. I mean, now, as Nate was just saying, now we just do everything on, on these things over I here. I just can't believe I remember, like, being little <laughs> and, like, you waited for a song to come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a crazy thought now. And Madonna... Madonna said, told them that if, if they played her music when she became famous, she would pay them back. I mean, she didn't, they didn't actually think it was going to happen. She just kept showing up to the Secaucus office, and they said, <laughs> fine, if you stop showing up, we will play your song in the overnight a couple times. Obviously, she became Madonna, and she did, to her word. Uh, you know, the premiere of Who's That Girl, her movie back in 1987, mm -hmm. they had this big setup in Times Square where Z100 uh, broadcast that. They had the rights to that, so she, she really did pay them back. I mean, the, the two of them are both brilliant marketers, right? I mean, that was sort of the, the, the pinnacle of them coming yeah. together. It's a you, fun piece, Shannon. Thanks. You want to give us one more? Uh, Z do your radio? 100. <laughs> I will <laughs> never give up the opportunity <laughs> to use the radio voice. When we come back, should the mayor control the city's public schools? You're watching Mornings on One. <laughs>